What's going on my people? So today uh, we're going to be putting on these uh, Perrin top mount brackets um, for the radiator. And I figure we'll go over a, stay in there Buster. I figure we'll go over a couple other things too going on with the car uh, while we're out here. Um, so we'll toss these on real quick. I'll do show you a quick run through on that. They're pretty simple. So I didn't think I needed a, visit, a video designated just strictly for those. Um, but other things we got going on, um, actually my wife is at the doctor's, or just got done at the doctor's. She is finding out what the baby is, boy or girl, um, and she so delightfully decided to choose not to tell me. Um, so I don't get to know, uh, at least for today, probably for a little while. Uh, she does, want, I think, want to do a, a reveal party on that, uh, so we may have something coming on that. So as of now, I'm having a baby. It is healthy. And that is all I know. So hopefully we'll find out soon. Um, other things we got going on. I picked up some paint for the wheels. So we are going to be painting the wheels here for uh, this, uh, when it starts warming up for uh, the summer. Um, but as I was looking for paint, I, I came across some paint that was actually what they say is made for wheels. It's more resistance to chemicals and things like that, brake dust. Uh, so it lasts longer. Um, we're going to be doing it out of a rattle can. Um, what I want to know though is color. What color do you guys think I should get? Um, I already bought the white because that was the original game plan. Um, so that's what I got is white. But I've seen some, you know, gunmetal grays and things like that um, that look really cool. At least the description on the cap, you know, they have the color kind of on that. So, in your opinion, I'll let you guys put this in the comment what you think it should be wheel color wise obviously you guys know the blue of the car um, I've kind of strayed away from blue in the past because or not blue but gray in the past um, because it seems like everybody does that not that you know white's never been done before but it just seems like everybody does that darker gray um, it looks good so I'm kind of torn right now if I want to go with the gray or the white um, please comment um, on the video and let me know what you think as far as color options for that. I know uh, this happened yesterday We got a new windshield, so no more crack Yay, so I don't have that annoying crack going right down my line of sight next Let's get you set up here on the tripod and uh, we'll start putting those brackets on Real quick just on these brackets when you do get them from Perrin um, You're gonna get the actual brackets themselves there are two different ones. One goes from the right side, one's the left side. They don't come with new grommets. The rubber grommets have to be transferred over, so be careful with that when you do this, and I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, you also get new bolts and an Allen wrench to tighten those down. Um, so first thing we have to do is we gotta take off the intake snorkel, uh, obviously then transfer over the, or take the brackets off, take the grommets out, and uh, put the new ones on. So real quick, real easy, we'll knock that out real quick here. So, first thing we got to do is take uh, these two 10 millimeter bolts out, one here, one here. Um, that way we can get access to this uh, mount that's underneath here on this left side or the, would be the right side of the car. Unbolt these, and then these two rubber grommets, these are what are going to transfer over. These are like 12 millimeter. Every step that I take is another mistake to you. There you go. Now the other one. You'll see that has a hood prop. Mine's obviously been broken, but I'm still going to transfer it over um, just so that at least doesn't fall too far forward. But um, now would be a really good time to just replace this piece. All right, uh, another thing too. Um, it's a good idea just to help these uh, to clear them out, to spray in around them just some penetrating oil um, to help these things pop out. So we're going to just take a little flat blade screwdriver, um, 
See the bottom of this is significantly larger than the top, so this is actually going to have to slide down through. Let's get that edge started. And there it goes. Pretty easy. Spraying that down will definitely help that, so make sure you do that. And those are junk. Oh no, we still need that. And just with some uh, needle nose pliers, we're going to pop this guy back through. Same thing. There's two little tabs there that you squeeze. The new ones in. That only goes in way it's god awful. Those there. Those there. I'm just gonna put some penetrating oil down in there and help these things thread in. Yeah. A little rusty. So before I put this back on, um, I'm actually going to go clean up the bolts um, that go on there, um, paint them up, make them look a little prettier. So I'll clean those. I ain't going to bug you with that. But so we got those on. That's quick and easy. So yeah, we got a couple things going on with it. Um, I got those uh, Cartboy front and rear shifter bushings too. Uh, so we're going to be putting those on here fairly soon. Um, I did order, there's a TIC linkage, um, which I'll show you guys when I get it, what that is. That's all going to be put on in the same video um, all at once because you got to do it all pretty much at the same time anyways. My wife just found out what the baby is. She's not telling me. Uh, when I asked her, she said, I said, well, what is it? She goes, it's healthy. It's a baby. So I got no information out of her other than it, it is, a, in fact, a child. Um, and that it is a healthy child so um, hopefully here soon we'll, we'll find out what that is so we know if we're having a boy or a girl um, outside of that i'm bo money if you guys have any questions ask them down below i will uh, see you guys later like comment subscribe go learn something later